So there's brake failure. There's also faith failure. Whereas heart failure might not cost you your life. Brake failure, in the case of my brother, may not cost you, cost you your life. But you see something called faith failure. Faith failure is the day that your confidence will fail you. The day, the day that you think that because of how long you've been a Christian, some things cannot happen. You know that some of us are that. Some of, some of us believers say, there's no such thing as a generational cost. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. The second thing you said is not a lie. You are, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. If you were sincere, you would have seen where the Bible says, give no place to the devil. That means even the righteousness of God can give place to the devil. If there, were no, there was no consequence for giving place to the devil, the Bible would not admonish you. He would just tell you, carry go, do anything you like. Not sin this up. That's what, the, that's what Paul would have said. But he didn't say that. He said, give no place to the devil. The same Bible says, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So the enemy has devices. Like it's a manufacturer. The same way you have techno. Techno manufactures phone. Head, or you have a rhino that is doing everything today. Tomorrow, now, Rhino will come up, come up with robots. Human, humanoid. Satan too is a manufacturer. And he always builds according to specification. Are you, are you following me? When, if you want to order um, an airport from Apple website, there is an option where you can customize this on the website. Have you seen it before? You can customize it, put your name, and then they will print your name on it. And when they are selling the airport to you, it will come customized. You understand what I mean? There are some websites like that when you want to order maybe an outfit, you put in your specs, the color you want, the size you want, if it's your sleeve or long sleeve. The material, if it's cashmere, if it's cotton, if it's wool, you can, and by the time it comes, you wear it as though you are the one that tailor made it yourself because it was built to your specification. That's the same way the devices of the enemy they come according to specs. When Satan wants to launch a device your way, he, he would have studied all your life first. Are you following me? He doesn't just do like this and say, "Who which demon is free?" Like, he will spend time <laughs> and he would conduct a research. He has a demonic network. And so they, all, they know <laughs> up until the generations that your grandparents don't even know existed in your lineage. And those demons are always trying out, they're like quality assurance officers in hell. They are trying out different things, trying out different things, trying out different things. They've seen in your lineage the weakness that was most easily exploited. And maybe in your lineage too, there has not been anybody that rose as a priest unto God to begin to establish the order of righteousness in your lineage. And so because of that shortfall, Satan has had a free way all this while until eventually that weakness in your family's lineage, it became the ground for an altar to be built. An altar is not what you see physically. It's any ground that spirits can achieve trade on. Whatever a man begins to do consistently can easily become an altar. It means that it has become a portal. Demons can now have legal ground on the account of this thing to begin to trade in your life. That's what the Bible calls a lawful captive. A demonic network. So he doesn't just throw anything to your way. Mm-mm. He would have seen, ah, okay. So if you look at Miriam now, he said, ah. And then he would do a research. And based on that research, he would now know the kind of demons to release. So you are the right presence of God in Christ Jesus. It's true. But if you have not come to a place in your walk with God where by an act of your will, you choose to make what is written in the scriptures become your living testimony. If you have not come to that point, I'm sorry, but the devices might they come fully charged on at 100 percent At 100 percent Fully charged. What I'm saying to you is this: Jesus said your faith will fail. But I'm praying for you so that it will not fail. That's what no, I'm putting the scripture. I'm not praying for you. I say amen. It's what Jesus told Peter. 